Welcome back to the vlog. It has been an absence and it's nice to be back chatting to you. So, what's been going on? I properly fell out of love with my work. That's what's been going on. Yeah, from the word go, I'm going to be really honest with you because I've always said these vlogs are about being honest. It's about sharing the highs and the lows. And unfortunately, the past few weeks been a bit of a low. What happened was I came down to the studio and it, it was about four or five weeks ago I think and I'd got a canvas and everything all set up to start some work and I sat down and there was absolutely nothing doing. Nothing doing at all. You might have found yourself in this situation yourself if you're a painter or an artist or a creative person. The block strikes and it is literally like being dropped at a crossroads in the middle of nowhere without a map. Didn't know what to do with myself so put everything away, went up to the house and made a coffee. So that, yeah, that was about five weeks ago and I haven't lifted a brush since. In that period of time, what I have done is had real quite awful anxiety about what's going to happen next, pondering on how am I going to make my business work if I'm not actually making any art, but at the same time not wanting to make art because it all felt tired and stale. Does that make sense? It's um, these times I think emerge when when things need changing and I think artists have to evolve. I think we need these periods of time where we're sent into these troughs because it's a challenge. It, it, they're sent to us these times to make us think, you know, how can we make it better? What do I really want to do? It gives us the space to ask some important big questions and to look at the bigger picture as well. So on the advice of my friend Heidi, I have come down today, which is the first time in quite a long time, and I have got some wooden panels and some paper, and I've got my paints and some mixed media items. I've got some inks and some oil pastels, all sorts of different things. And I'm gonna have a play for an hour. I think it's really, really important to give yourself this time and this space to ease yourself back into it and find what you want to do next by exploring and allowing the space for that to happen in a playful environment where there's freedom. You don't, it doesn't matter if you make mistakes, it doesn't matter if it goes wrong because it's not for a gallery, it's not for a commission, it's not necessarily going to end up for sale. So that's where I'm at. So I hope you're gonna stick around and join me this afternoon. I'm gonna share my process of art for play with you and um, I shall look forward to seeing what, what happens.
fun. I have to say, that hour spent working on that, hang on a minute, no, not working, that was playing, that was proper playing, and it's been a long time, actually. It feels like a long time since I've done anything that felt so light-hearted and free. I picked the theme of water, because I did a couple of sketches in Procreate recently, just for no apparent reason, I just felt like doodling. I was on the sofa in my pyjamas, and I felt like doodling something. And of course, I'm, I'm always drawn to the coast. It's, it's a natural theme that I return to. So I spent some time working on these sketches and I liked them. I was quite happy with them. And so I thought today, sort of following on from that, I would explore the concept of water in this mixed media piece. And yes, it's extremely abstract. It's nothing like the stuff I normally do. So I'm rather pleased with, with how it's turned out. I've used some metallic paint that by, um, got them here, a company called Fine Tech, and I've got this particular set here. It's the, the golds and there's a silver at the end. It's a really nice set. You can use them in calligraphy and everything, but I've used that. I've used some Sennelier oil pastels and some acrylic paint as well. And I've scratched into it and I've also used this tool here which is a little rubberized thing and I got it from Jackson's Art. It's excellent and you can just pull the paint off, smear it around, smudge it around and there's three different edges. So I've used that quite a lot as well and also some blue ink. So it was a real mixture and just for that hour how, how lovely it was to just explore the different textures of those mediums and apply them while focusing on what water felt like and the sensations that brings up for me. To imagine tides and waves, all those feelings you experience when you're at the beach. So I really lost myself for the majority of it. I will be honest with you though, there were certain times when I had to really pull myself back and remind myself to be mindful and to just let it flow. Painting intuitively rather than trying to force it because obviously my, my usual work is rather illustrative and I am used to working, you know, and creating pieces that look like things, you know, this is a real departure for me. So I had to keep reminding myself at certain points when I was getting a little bit tight with the brush, just to step back, have a little breath and then go back into it. All about the feeling. It's been absolutely brilliant. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this. It might end up on my bedroom wall, who knows? But it has led me to think that I might start exploring the pieces that I did on Procreate a little bit further. I may try and transfer them to canvas. 